Now at 5 o'clock, two South Florida men arrested in connection with the assassination of Haiti's President Jovenel Moïse remain in custody tonight. And now the United States is sending help to Haiti to assist in the investigation. CBS 4's Austin Carter is live in Miami's little na uh, Haiti neighborhood with the very latest. Austin? Hey, Elliot, well, this has been a relentless search for these suspects. Some of them are dead. Others are now behind bars. Unrest in Haiti as the investigation into the assassination of President Jovenel Moise continues. New video from Port-au-Prince showing what is believed to be the site of a shootout between suspected members of President Moise's hit group and police. Angry locals torching three cars believed to have belonged to some of the president's killers. Of the now 28 suspects, two are Haitian Americans from the Sunshine State. The assassination of South Florida ties. James Solange of Fort Lauderdale was arrested. According to our news partner, the Miami Herald, Joseph Vincent was another. He's also from South Florida. CNN reports 17 suspects are in custody. At least three have been killed in shootouts and eight people remain at large. I would hope that uh, with the assassination of a president, even from a small country, that would raise the attention of the U.S. authorities and the FBI to get involved. Former Prime Minister of Haiti, Laurent Lamont's wish being granted Friday. In response to the Haitian government's request for security and investigative assistance, we will be sending senior FBI and DHS officials to Port-au-Prince as soon as possible to assess the situation. The U.S. Department of State also said they were aware that the Haitian National Police had requested help. The situation on the ground, as I said before, is evolving rapidly. We've remained in regular contact uh, with Haitian officials, including uh, the investigative authorities, uh, to discuss how the United States can assist going forward. The White House's move to help comes one day after South Florida leaders asked for resources from the Biden administration in the form of a special envoy. Congresswoman Frederica Wilson speaking at the Little Haiti Cultural Center Thursday. The appointment of such a special envoy would convey a sense of urgency and ensure that Haiti's current crisis receives the necessary attention and high-level U.S. engagement. President Moise was fatally shot 12 times. First Lady Martine Moise shot three times but survived. She was flown to South Florida, taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital. CBS4 News cameras rolling as she was taken inside. We're told she had at least one surgery. The president's daughter only surviving because she hid in a bedroom and was able to escape. This is unheard of. And this is certainly how this cannot stand punished. And to understand some of the turmoil happening in Haiti, President Moise, despite his presidency ending, had been holding on to his term that had actually ended back in February. Protesters had been calling for him to step down before his assassination. We're live in Little Haiti. I'm Austin Carter, CBS4 News.